Dear students, welcome to the Zoology Open Course, Public Health and Hygiene. In this current COVID context, you may be aware about the need of public health and hygiene. As you know, the reduction of obesity, regular exercise, enough sleep and having enough water, then balanced diet, uh, then avoiding all types of mental stress and strain have been the routine aspects of keeping health and hygiene so far but nowadays in this pandemic situation you know the concern on the health and hygiene has grown a little more that's why you wash your hands regularly then use sanitizer and mask this is this is very serious context of preventing the spread of disease but in this open course we have to deal with several general aspects on the health and hygiene not much detail so in the first we have to deal with what the health is or what is meant by health definition and meaning of health then dimensions of health you know physical fitness and mental fitness are the foremost important aspect of health but besides that social spiritual and emotional well-being are also concerned as important parts of health or important aspects of the health let's see the definition and meaning of the health this is the best explanation or the definition for the health given by the world health organization a state of complete physical mental and social well-being okay they have added that and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity so a complete physical mental and social well-being mental means there will be emotional and spiritual aspects also so this definition comprises almost all aspects of being healthy a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity let's see the dimensions of health dimensions of health comprises physical mental social emotional and spiritual aspects see what physical fitness is physical fitness is a state where an individual has developed great endurance speed and strength in almost all his physical activities otherwise we cannot say that a man or a person is physically fit if he has no endurance or speed or strength in his physical activities and this physical fitness will lead to a happy vigorous and abundant life if we are not physically fit we cannot be happy or we cannot be active or vigorous in our day-to-day -day activities and we will not be uh, content or fulfilled or satisfied in our life so being physically fit means having the endurance speed and strength to be happy vigorous and abundant in life the next aspect is the mental strength memory decision making and reasoning power are the important aspects of being mentally strong memory is very important otherwise we cannot say that a man is healthy if he is not bothered about his uh, duty of submission of assignments or uh, marking the attendance and the person should have a better decision making capacity in almost all context of the life and he should think out of reason 
rather than selective perception. We can uh, say uh, we should think out of reason. Vigarathin adima padade vijaram kund decision make jayam batuga. Jiyadatil matula karingal tiraman kayan batuga. Adina reasoning power and the way. Summa mumbul alkar chidud adepole chiyuga. A lingil vaigariga mai matram. Adima put on the carrying or chiga. Ido kianangil reasoning power under the parametilla. So a man or a person should be having reasoning capacity. He should think out of reason. So if a person is mentally strong, his confidence will automatically increase. Confidence is essential for the achievement in life. So you are not going to discuss everything in detail now. Then what is social efficiency? Social efficiency. If a man is physically fit and mentally strong, we cannot say that that person is uh, healthy if he is not socially efficient. So what is meant by being socially efficient? Being socially efficient means a person should be having the capacity or the ability or the skill of cooperation and he should be aware of the art of respecting others he should be having the tolerance to wide and diverse culture and beliefs of all people or fellow creatures he should be loyal to the fellow creatures the person should have the sportsmanship in almost all activities in the life and above all the person should be self-confident and if the person has got all aspects, cooperation, respect to others, tolerance, loyalty, sportsmanship, and is not having the self-confidence, can we say that that person is socially efficient? No. The self-confidence is very important. Otherwise, he cannot achieve anything in the society. He cannot do anything fruitful or good to the fellow creatures. See the spiritual enlightenment it is nothing about the religion and beliefs or faith in anything, but it is the deep insight into the meaning and purpose of all things. We should be aware of the meaning and purpose of all things in life and we should be having a profound spiritual understanding or we should be aware that every individual in the society has got the same right to live in this planet that is what is called tolerance and acceptance of diverse culture and beliefs if one believes that if one believes that he is only correct and others are not correct or if, if his faith is only correct or if his religion is only correct how can we say that he is spiritually enlightened or how can we say that he is a socially healthy man so we should be having the tolerance. Sahishnuda. Sahishnuda Vena. Fellow creatures in the beliefs in our devigarateim, vijarati manika and la karivan. Tolerance. Idoki on Dangil Namakuda spiritually enlightenment and socially healthy and mentally balanced down the Kaparambat. Idonilla Talkaram healthy and the Parambatilla. There are some type of human beings at the Parambat. So if a person is spiritually enlightened, his mental and physical strength, confidence and affirmative thinking will automatically increase. That is essential for development and achievement in the society. Next aspect is the emotional balance. stability. We should be emotionally stable. We should not be short tempered. Okay state of being able to control and regulate your emotions even in all tough situations in your life state of being able to control and regulate your emotions so that life is more balanced so i'm not going to deal with it here now so we have discussed the definition of health and dimensions of health physical mental social spiritual and emotional aspects of the health okay let's finish today's discussion here
and what I have to tell you is that we will post the materials in uh, in the classes of open course in the hours of the open course you have to check the Google classroom and WhatsApp group and you have to finish the classworks before the midnight of the corresponding days and be emotionally stable socially healthy and mentally strong this course will provide you a very good opportunity to be what really you are okay for the most thank you